All right, we're here at the ninth annual Crunchies. I'm here with uh, Steve from SpaceX's board. Uh, so, rockets. Rockets. Yeah. Yes. Congratulations. Uh, tell me a little bit about where uh, where SpaceX is right now. Sure. SpaceX has uh, had a really good year. They've succeeded in bringing back a rocket, landing it propulsively on land, which can lower the cost a hundredfold. Uh, if you only Let's say, if imagine you threw away an airplane after every one-way flight, it would just be crazy expensive. And so they fixed that problem, and they're uh, successfully launching rockets with cargo, soon astronauts. They seem to be the future of the U.S. space program, and they're going to try to take us to Mars. What's it like investing in that space? Yeah, is it literally and figuratively. Uh, it's, uh, it is kind of awe-inspiring. It, it sort of tickles every little a dream I had as a boy to uh, work on something meaningful and to be involved with something that's going to really make a difference. And the uh, engineers and people at SpaceX just are just doing incredible work. They're uh, accomplishing things that only nation states had accomplished before. They're doing so in ways that every other competitor is left scratching their head and can't even wonder how they do what they do. And they're going to make humanity a multi-planetary species. I mean, that's kind of perhaps going down the greatest checklist of uh, greatest hits of humanity. It's like, you know, the opposable thumb, you know, you know, modern <laughs> urban living, and now, you know, going to other planets and, you know, being in more than one world. Well, we have to get him back up into yeah. space first, right? That's so right. How, how, how far away is that? To get what back up in space? Humans. Uh, yes, that well, is I mean, right, up there with, right with now, SpaceX, yeah. exactly. To have a, a new launch vehicle is something they uh, anticipate being uh, ready to do in the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. They just recently won, and it was announced, a large contract with NASA to do that. And... Um, they're hell bent for leather to get that done. They already have a really cool looking capsule that seats seven, just like the Model S, because you know Elon has five boys. You got a seat seven, and uh, he's got a larger design. This enormous rocket, much bigger than anything the Apollo program had, bigger than it ever has flown before. That is uh, in development to have regularly scheduled flights to Mars. He calls it the Mars, Mars Colonial Transporter. What did you think of The Martian? Oh, yeah. Uh, great uh, great movie, even better book. Uh, I spent some time with the author in my office and actually gave him his first uh, Martian meteorite, his oh. first piece of Mars, which he was uh, very excited to have. And um, um, I love the engineering approach, uh, especially in the book, which has like 10 times as much material as I can fit in the movie. So what's next for uh, space travel? Well, there's the tourism parts where you can get up, you know, go around the Earth, go around the moon, which I'm looking forward to. Um, launching fleets of satellites this year will be a big news. There'll be about 250 satellites coming from the San Francisco company Planet Labs that will image the entire Earth every day. So imagine as a journalist, you could see every meter of the Earth every day, count every tree on Earth every day, count every car in every parking lot, etc. Would that be public domain? Yeah. All okay. that data is going to be provided for everyone to look at and put algorithms against, machine learning algorithms, and find patterns in what's going on on our planet. Cool. Well, thank you so much for joining yeah. us. Thank you very much.